the question, why me, Jesus? And so, to answer that, I have to ask myself again, what do I want? Or what do I desire? Why do I need Jesus? What do I desire? Psalm 66 says, God has brought us through the fire, He's brought us through the waters, and He's brought us out into a wealthy place. What that says to me is that when we experience trials and tribulations, when things happen in our lives, good or bad, no matter what goes on, there's still a plan of God for our lives. And sometimes we cry a long time. Sometimes we feel pain for a very long time. Sometimes we feel negativity for a long, long, long time because, you know, people sometimes are just not kind. People around us are not kind. Some people, man, they are not kind. And if you sometimes get emotional because sometimes people hurt you so bad and you still don't understand why it is people act the way they do. But all of these calculate to what God, the process of God for your life. And then the question is, what do I desire? And I believe for me, I desire to be happy. I desire to have peace. I desire to have joy in my life. I desire to have good relationships. I desire to have people around me that care about me, people around me that love me. I desire to have people to lift me up and not pull me down. People to show me love and not fight and quarrel and backbite against me. And so what do I want? What do I desire? I desire just to be comforted, to, to be happy, to experience the bliss and the love of, of God in my life. And I want to see that experience. That's why I don't want to just serve God just because for serving God's sake. I want the benefits of serving God. And the benefits of serving God suggest that, you know, at the end of the rain, at the end of the tears, at the end of the dark, dark nights, there is a light, there is a silver lining. We can endure it for a night, but joy, the Bible says, come in the morning. So why do I need Jesus? Because I know that I have to go through some rough places. I know I have to handle some hurt, some pain. I know I have to deal with disappointments. I know some things have to go on in my life, some relationships, some people. I believe and I know that even family members might sometimes, you know, become a, a burden, a problem in my life. And some things can happen to me, some things will happen to you guys that you will not understand. But I know these things, and because I know these things can happen, because I know I can have pain, because I know I can cry, because I know I can get hungry, because I know I have to experience broke days, then I need Jesus because I don't want to stay there. I don't want to stay there. I need wisdom. I need knowledge. I need to find a way to leave from the place of darkness and get into a lighted place. And so I need Jesus because I desire more. I need Jesus because I desire not pain and suffering, but joy and happiness and kindness and gladness. I desire Christ because if you read the word of the Lord, the Bible has promises and blessings for your life. And if I need and want the blessing that God says, then I need the source of the blessing. I need to serve God because the word promises me that God is on my side and it promises me that he will never leave me or nor forsake me. It promises me that whatever I desire of God, if I believe it with all my heart, I'll have it. And so sometimes when we find ourselves broken, sometimes when we find ourselves masked down, sometimes when we find ourselves crying, hurt and in pain, we think about the only way out. And the Bible says that God will give us a way of escape. My way of escape is to desire the benefits of the kingdom of God. And to do that, I have to trust Jesus. And so, why I need Jesus? Because I don't want to suffer. I don't want to feel pain. And I don't want to be sad all the days of my life. Yellow me in person. Red me Amen. <laughs> but desiring Jesus is something that because if you look at the word of the Lord and you see that when Christ has a message and the Bible says that all these people come to him for healing, all these people come around him and he heals, the Bible says he heals, he delivers, he does all of these things. Many people come because they know what power God has. 
they know God is able to do it. And when God does things for you, it's easy to have faith. When God does things for you, it's easy to be encouraged. Amen. And so I decided Jesus because I'd rather be in the blessedness of God and not in the curses. Amen. Amen.